The member for Geraldton. Thank you, Madam Acting Speaker. I'm afraid this will be a bit like Slim Dusty following the young ones, but I'll do my best. Um, Geraldton, of course, has got two hospitals, a government and a private one, that services about 20 per cent of the state. A lot of it's quite isolated, so it's a very important issue. A um, couple of things. We've got, we've got a government hospital there that was built in 2005, I think. For some reason, it's actually smaller than the one it replaced, and for some reason it wasn't co-located. And that in particular we can't understand, because the co-location at Bunbury works very well. But for some reason in Geraldton and all, there's an oldish motel over the road from St John of God, it would have been very easy to have got that and then co-located. For some reason the government didn't do that. We would love to have an answer for why the hospital was smaller than the one it replaced and why it wasn't co-located. And we're still waiting for it. We've been asking for a long time. 2008, the Liberal government came into power. The then Geraldton Hospital was the newest in the state. Now, I've seen, I was on the Education and Health Standing Committee. I know there's a priority list, if you like, that the government works through for hospitals. I had a look at it one day and I could see where Geraldton was in the mix. Nevertheless, I tried very hard to get it lifted up the list, but it, it was never possible. We did try to get some money from Nicola Roxon when she was the minister. She had a fund there of $400 million. Um, unfortunately, uh, for regional hospitals, unfortunately, it was oversubscribed to the tune of 10 to 1. So we missed out on that. Um, but I do understand there's, there's others in line, and when you've got the newest hospital, the government's priority has to be to go and address the older hospitals. But I would like to acknowledge the work of the staff in the Geraldton Hospital who do a very good job. The other interesting quirk of Geraldton, if you like, is that St John of God Hospital does not run at full capacity. At times it's only got about 50 per cent capacity in it. So it's highly cost effective for the government to be able to buy beds when they need them off St John of God. It keeps St John of God in town and it gives the government hospital access to greater capacity when they need it. However, I'm told the arrangement's not working as well now as it was in the past because at times St John of God and Geraldton does not have beds available to the government hospital. So if you like, that is slowly bringing the issue to a head about the Geraldton hospital. And of course, the other critical issue is that when you do go ahead and redevelop Geraldton hospital, you've got to make sure that you keep St John of God in town because if they suddenly become less viable because the new government hospital is much bigger. We're going to have a terrible situation where St John have got to, might close up, leave town, and that will leave us no better off than we were before. In fact, it could leave us in a, a worse position. So 2017, um, the Liberals did bring a promise to the table, uh, something that I'd worked for for a long time. The Liberal promise was $138.5 million to be spent on the hospital, especially in emergency. The situation is very busy. The average bed in Geraldton emergency has three times the hours occupancy than the equivalent bed in Bunbury, for example. Um, it will be a complex redevelopment because you're redeveloping a working hospital, a busy working hospital. Um, the government's promise was $45 million, which has grown to $77 million, and I'll acknowledge the fact that the government has, if you like, accepted our argument that the hospital needs to be expanded and maybe in time they'll come to accept that maybe a bit more money needs to be spent. The mouthpiece for the Midwest, for the government, tells us that none of the planning was done. Well, we've done a bit of checking up and we're being told that a lot of the planning was done. So I just want to say, get on with it. You will actually be starting your hospital expansion when we would have been finishing ours, but we'll still be happy to see it. So when I look around my electorate and I see what's been happening. The sobering up centre's closed. We've got people lying on the floor in the emergency of the hospital. Camellias is closed. You've taken about $80 million out of the Midwest Development Commission. The mental health facility, for some reason, is going to be built a couple of kilometres away from the hospital. When at Joondalup and Albany, they're on the same campus. You've presided over the largest prison breakout in West Australian history, and you've attempted to undermine our world-class lobster industry. So what I would say is start fixing the hospital and you might start redeeming yourself. Yeah.